Hey guys, today we are going to be given graphs of linear relationships and we will turn that graph into equations and tables. So remember a linear relationship is in the form y equals mx plus b. There's two key features here. The y-intercept b is where x is zero. It is also where the line crosses the y-axis. And then the rate of change m, the coefficient of x, is often referred to as a rate of change in the dependent y compared to the change in the independent x change in y over change in x. So to write an equation from a graph, the first thing we're going to do is create a table of ordered pairs to help us determine the rate of change and the y-intercept. Then we can use that rate of change and y-intercept to write our equation. So here is our graph and I want to identify some of these ordered pairs from it. So when x is negative 1, Right here, it looks like the y value is also negative 1. And then when the x value is 0, the y value is 1. That's going to be the y-intercept. And then when x is 1, y is 3. And when x is 2, y is 5. Okay, I filled out the table. Let's use this table to help us identify the rate of change. So I can use any two points from this table to help me identify the rate of change. I'm going to skip over these negative points and use these two right here. You are welcome to use the negative numbers. I just think that positive numbers are easier. So that's what I'm going to use to find the rate of change. So the change in the y's from 1 to 3 is 2, and then the change in the x's from 0 to 1 is 1. So the rate of change is 2 over 1, which simplifies to 2. And then the y-intercept is where the x value is 0, which is 1. We can also see that on the graph. It's where it's crossing the y-axis. And now that I have the rate of change m, 2, and the y-intercept b1, I can write the equation. It would be y equals 2x plus 1. Okay, let's do the same thing for the next one. So when x is negative 2, looks like my y value is negative 3. When the x value is 0, the y value is negative 2. There's my y-intercept. When the x value is 2, my y value is negative 1. And when the x value is 0, my y value is, sorry, when my x value is 4, my y value is 0. Okay, so now that I have some ordered pairs from the graph in the table, I can use it to help me write the equation. Let's start with the rate of change. I'm just going to use the first, or no, I'm actually going to use the last two points because there's less negatives there. From negative 1 to 0, the change in the y values is plus 1. And then from 2 to 4, the change in the x values is plus 2. So it looks like my rate of change is 1 half. And then the y-intercept is the x value is being 0. So the y-intercept is negative 2, which I can also see on the graph. So I have my m value, it is 1 half. I have my b value, it's negative 2. So that means the equation in y equals mx plus b form is y equals 1 half x minus 2. Okay, let's look at this next one. So when x is negative 2, my y value is 3. When x is negative 1, my y value is 0. When x is 0, my y value is negative 3. There's the y-intercept. And then when my x value is 1, looks like my y value will be negative 6. So now I can use this information to help me do the rate of change and the y-intercept. So the rate of change is the change in y over the change in x. So I'm just going to use the first two ordered pairs. So to go from 3 to 0, that's a change of 3, but I subtracted 3. 3 minus 3 would be 0. So the change in y is negative 3. And then to go from negative 2 to negative 1, I would add 1. So the change in y over change in x is negative 3 over 1, which is negative 3. And then the y-intercept b is when the x value is 0, which is negative 3, which I can also see on the graph. So my b value is negative 3. So the m and the b value are negative 3. So that my, means my equation in y equals mx plus b form is y 
equals negative 3x minus 3. Okay, then last one. Let's fill out the table from the graph first. When x is negative 4, my y value is 0. When x is 0, my y value is negative 3. And when x is 4, my y value is negative 6. So now I have the table, and I can use this to help me find the rate of change. I'm going to use the first two ordered pairs. The change in y from 0 to negative 3 is minus 3. 0 minus 3 would give us negative 3. So change in y is negative 3. And then the change in x to go from negative 4 to 0 would be plus 4. So my rate of change is negative 3 over 4. And that is as most simplified as we can get, so we'll leave it as that. And then the y-intercept is where x is 0, so our y-intercept is negative 3, which I can also see on the graph. So then our equation in y equals mx plus b form would be y equals negative 3 fourths x minus 3, since m was negative 3 fourths and the y-intercept was negative 3.